Hello everyone, welcome to my channel, Advice to Think Twice. My name is Monica and I'm here with our daily advice for December 7th, 2017. Thank you for joining me. And as always, we will be looking at the energies that we're dealing with at this time and what we need to know about these energies so that we can use them for our highest good. Since we are looking at energies, these will play out in different ways for everyone. So try to keep an open mind and take away the message of the reading and then apply it to your own situation if you feel that it helps with what you are dealing with at this time. And yes, we do try to put time frames on it, you know, and say that this is for the seventh, but really we work on divine timing. And so it's, it could be one or two days before the seventh or one or two days after the seven. It's just um, insight into some of the energies that we may be coming across during this time. Right, so. For the past couple of days, we've been getting messages that said, don't give up, don't give up, you're almost there, don't give up, you're almost there. And it looks like we're definitely uh, seeing some form of some completions, new beginnings, new structures, um, new paths, okay, that are now becoming concrete, that are now becoming reality for us, okay? The first card that we have is the Six of Wands, and this is about success. And this represents the influence of the past on our current situation. So with the Six of Wands, this is triumphant energy. This is getting what we wanted, reaching our goal, um, being victorious, acknowledging that, letting everyone else see that we are victorious, letting everyone else um, celebrate us or celebrate with us, okay, with the Six of Wands. Um, and we're, you know, there's, there's more work to be done. But for the time being, we have reached an important goal. We have reached an important milestone. And this is something to do with something that we're passionate about, something that we believe in, something that we really want in our lives, something that drives us, that motivates us, okay, that feeds our soul. Um, and that could be anything, really. It depends. It's going to be different for everyone. But we have seen success, and we have seen that we can achieve this, it's almost like our own capabilities have been reaffirmed, have been confirmed for ourselves or to ourselves, okay? When we were doubting ourselves or struggling to keep going and now we've reached this milestone, it's almost like that saying, you know what, yes, I can do this. I really, I, I see now that I can do this. It's not just, you know, me imagining things or me um, wishful thinking or me trying to stay positive. I have results that I can see. I have accomplishments that everyone else can see. So I, I really do believe in myself now, even more than I did before. And so that's the energy of the Six of Wands. In today's energy, we have the King of the Ocean about order. And this is the Emperor. So this is a major arcana card and it does talk about order. It does talk about structure. It talks about getting organized. Um, it talks about, it's also coming through as making something official, something being formalized. We may have uh, conversations with our superiors during this time and they may talk to us about something that they want to bring forward uh, for us, okay, with this energy. We may be talking to um, figures of authority in a legal sense. We may be talking to a father figure um, during this time as well any figures of authority, it's almost like by what they have to present to us, by what they have to say to us, they are also congratulating us and confirming for us that yes, we've earned this, we deserve this, okay? And so we're coming into a time for new order, for new structures. It's very important that when we have new energy, that we don't corrupt it by trying to bring in old energy. All right, this is going to be a completely new direction, something completely different than what we may have done before. And so it's important that we come up with a different way of doing things, that we don't try to, you know, do things in an old way that we used to do things, since this is something that we've never dealt with before. And it, it requires creative thinking and it requires new types of ideas and new attitudes, perhaps new mindsets. OK, new approaches of dealing with things. Um, and so it's very important that we get organized in that sense, okay, that we acknowledge for ourselves, okay, I've come this far, this is something brand new, the old ways are not going to work for me anymore, the old ways serve their purpose, I am a different person now, I've grown, I've evolved, this is also about maturity, 
and maturing, I've evolved. I'm more aware of who I am, what I want, what I'm capable of. And so a new attitude is in order. A new mindset is in order. A new way of doing things is also in order, okay, with this energy of the king of the ocean. And then the energy that we're moving into tomorrow with is the judgment card, self-reflection. So this is another major arcana card, and it does talk about self-reflection. It also talks about shedding the old to be born anew, okay? This is renewal, regeneration, uh, rising from the ashes, ending old ways and old ways of doing things and old beliefs and so on, because now we are reborn. Now we are a new person. Now we have this brand new opportunity and we must treat it as something that is brand new. We must explore it. We must look at all our options of how to handle it. We must look at everything that we can do with it, what the potential is there, and then come up with the way of doing things, okay? Um, as opposed to just trying to do same old, same old. The judgment card is also about good news coming in, wonderful news that really, metaphorically speaking, raises us from the dead. So raises us from... Um, stale energy, difficult times, heavy energy, dark times perhaps, you know, difficult times um, with this energy here. And it does need a new perception, okay, it requires a new perception. Again, a new order to our lives, a new order of how we see ourselves and what we want to do and how we go about things, okay. Also, us now implementing our tools and resources with courage, with strength, with conviction. No more doubt. The emperor does not doubt. The emperor does not have doubt in his system, does not have the word no or can't in his vocabulary. The emperor looks at what needs to be done, assesses all the options, assesses all the possibilities, assesses all the potential um, opportunities or outcome, and he makes a decision and then he just follows through. That's what the emperor does. Everything is stable, okay? No ups and downs and no back and forth and everything is stable because he's thought things through, he's assessed everything, tried some new ideas, and then once he's made his decision of how he's going to do things, that's what he does, he follows through. And that's a new way of being, that's a new way of doing things and it really brings in a lot of new and positive energy with the judgment card, a complete transformation of ourselves, our goals, our ideas, how we do things, what we want in our lives, okay? For the better, absolutely for the better. Our guidance card is Sapphire, regenerate your body, the number is 38. So that adds up to an 11. So with an 11, it is about new paths. The, it's almost like it's, it's a reinforced idea of a new path. It's almost like it's saying it's two ones, one next to the other. And it's almost like it's saying it's a new path, but it really needs to be a new path. We can't bring the, the past into it, okay? It needs to be a new path. It's, it's something new and we need to treat it as such, okay? So that, that's, that's how we, you know, up our game. That's how we uh, rise to a new level. That's how we learn. That's how we grow because we challenge ourselves to always do things in a different way, to always try to do things in a different way, in a better way. Okay. We always try. We don't give up. We don't, you know, become complacent and we don't just take things for granted or look for the easy way out. We always try. We always look for new opportunities and new ways of doing things. And we always challenge ourselves to see how far we can go and what kind of good we can do with, with, a certain opportunity okay so this is also saying you see we have the word regenerate in there so it says again reset the system okay with the order card here as well saying reset the system the old ways are not going to work anymore we need to to do new things new approaches new vision new ideas new order to things okay to ourselves and what we do regeneration is is needed and then we will have clarity. Then we will see what needs to be done, how we can do it best, how far we can go with it, what we can reap from it, and so on and so forth. We will have that clarity that gives us that confidence, that reinforces the confidence and the stability in our thinking and in our actions and in our beliefs. Hence, the new order. 
Okay, so hopefully that makes sense. Um, it's really a beautiful message, so I really hope that it, it makes sense, that it helps, okay, if you're dealing with these energies, that it gives you what you need, if it's motivation, if it's, you know, uh, encouragement. Um, I hope that the reading is helpful. Um, let me know what the cards talk about for you. And remember that um, it really is all in our hands in terms of what we can do and what we can turn things into for ourselves. Um, our power thought for today, we have all my relationships are harmonious. And this reads, when we create harmony in our minds and hearts, we will find it in our lives. The inner creates the outer, always. So this is amazing. I love these power cards because these power thought cards because they always seem to complement what our tarot and oracle cards say. Okay, so this is saying when we create harmony, okay, and it's us, it's us that create it. It's up to us to create it. When we create harmony in our minds, in our hearts, in ourselves, we see it on the outside. We see it in our environment, okay? And uh, when we create order and flow, because that's what order is really. It's a way of doing things that makes things easier to flow um, within ourselves, in our thoughts, in our hearts, then in our beliefs as well. Then we start to see that order transpire in our lives, in our environments, in our relationships of all kinds, okay, with this energy. So it's just confirming that first of all, we can create that harmony, we can create that order, that way of things coming together for, for ourselves. And when we create it on the inside, then it will start to show on the outside as well, okay? So that is our reading. Let me know what it talks about for you. Let me know if it helps, okay? I hope it does. Um, thank you very much for joining me. Uh, remember to check out your December forecast and the specials currently running. Um, and everything is in the description box below. Let's have an absolutely beautiful day and I will talk to you again very, very soon. Take care.